Hey everybody, welcome to Marvel Science, and today we'll be looking at a great question. Is it possible to become the Hulk using gamma rays? I don't know, let's find out. Please, please don't make me angry! Oh, oh, oh! Do you remember this big green guy? It's the Hulk, our favorite monster. The Hulk was originally a scientist until he got completely exposed to gamma radiation and became the Hulk. The Hulk itself is a character of complete pure fiction, but gamma rays are more real than you thought they were. Before we go in depth about the question and gamma rays, we need to have a bit of background information about the electromagnetic spectrum, or EM spectrum for short. They are basically particles that act like waves, and they are mainly composed of radio waves, microwaves, infrared, visible, UV rays, X-rays, and yay gamma rays. They all fit like a puzzle. The EM spectrum is used all around the world, but the problem is we just can't see them with our own two blinking eyes. For example, radio waves are used for radios so they can catch the radio signals and microwaves are used for microwaves to heat up the food. Like these two examples, the EM spectrum is found everywhere like specks of dust. Okay, now let's get to the gamma ray and Hulk point. Gamma rays have the highest frequency and they have the shortest wavelength compared to the others in the EM spectrum. They are actually at least 10,000 times stronger than a visible light ray. It's like comparing a small flashlight and a theater spotlight. To be honest, gamma rays are created by nuclear atomic decay. As a nuclear atom becomes unstable, it will slowly start to fall apart, and it can take in the pain for some time, but when it comes to a point when it can't stand it anymore, then BAM! The unwanted happens. They may seem harmless, but they are actually quite harmful. Because, as I have said before, gamma rays have the strongest energy level out of all the others in the EM spectrum. And if you're completely exposed to gamma radiation, your cell DNA in your body will start to mutate or even kill you. In the mutation process, your DNA would start to break apart. Did you know that Marie Curie actually died because of being exposed to too much gamma radiation? This leads us to a conclusion that just because Marvel Comics and Stan Lee said that a scientist can turn into the Hulk using gamma rays doesn't mean that it's true. A message to fanboys all around the world, please don't try this at home because you will surely die.